It is about 1.30 on Thursday, January 23rd. I'm uh, recording to let you know what I found out this morning. <coughs> I spoke with the primary investigator for the C. diff vaccine clinical trial, and I'm not going to be able to uh, go back on a 40 milligram dose of prednisone. That will mess up the study. So. Um, as far as managing uh, the injury to my right leg, my right hand, and uh, my back, that I, um, the injury that I got uh, the wee hours of the morning of my birthday, January 18th, when I uh, slipped and fell on the wet stairs at my uh, former home, my apartment at the veranda at Grandview Hills in Austin, Texas, a Basham Properties holding. Anyway, I'm not going to, it's not going to be possible for me to be uh, managed with uh, an increase back to 40 milligrams of prednisone. So what Serena has decided to do is um, basically, um, and she's done this before when I've gotten injured, is to tell me that we're not going to manage this with drugs. We're going to manage this with rest, ice, heat, and Tylenol. So what I'm uh, instructed to do is to alternate heat. So as you see, I've got, I'm sitting in the sun and um, I've got the heating pad at 160, and then I'll be alternating it with the, uh, the ice block there wrapped in a towel. Um, I am taking the uh, uber dose of Tylenol. Um, and uh, sleep, the other thing that she wants me to do is sleep. So she's going to be uh, calling in a prescription for a muscle relaxant for the nights to try to quiet my body so that I can heal during my um, sleep hours. Now, I'm not going to be able to sleep today because I am getting my downstairs neighbors. There are people moving in downstairs for me. One of them has a nasty cough. Um, I'm really excited. I'm not upset that they're making noise. I'm happy that I'm going to be getting uh, new neighbors. I don't know if you can... I don't know if... I don't know if you can hear them. But they're, uh, they're moving in, and I'm super excited about that. So anyway, uh, the resolution is that um, there isn't going to be any shortcut to um, being pain-free and um, functional. There's not going to be any shortcut for me. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way, um, uh, alternating ice and heat, um, alternating ice and heat, resting the leg, not moving around a lot, um, taking just... Tylenol, over-the-counter Tylenol, the super dose of over-the-counter Tylenol on the regular, and um, tonight hopefully taking the muscle relaxant at bedtime and uh, hoping that that uh, quiets uh, my muscles enough that I'm able to sleep through the night. I was not able to sleep last night, and I could so easily fall asleep right now, but um, the dollies are on the move downstairs, uh, getting my neighbors moved in, and um, so it's going to be kind of noisy here today. So I'm just going to sit here in the sunshine and uh, rest and heal uh, as best I can. Um, I'm really glad that I'm still in the clinical trial and that this whole catastrophe with my body has not knocked me out of the C. diff clinical trial. I'm super happy about that. Um, I'm also super happy that I have a doctor who knows how much um, my participation in the trial means to me and did not jump at a chance to up my dose of prednisone without letting me reach out to the primary investigator and find out what the impacts would be on the study. So, again, oh, that cough, that poor girl who's moving in, I hope she gets over that cough. Um, anyway, so, obviously, moving into my new home is going to be delayed um, while I get through this healing process, but we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Sometimes, as, as Serena said in her my chart message to me, sometimes drugs are not the answer. Sometimes resting the body and letting it heal is the answer. And so I think that um, her particular brand of old-fashioned tough love that says, you know, I'll help you when I can, but not when it's just going to not when drugs are going to allow you, allow you to mask an injury, which you're just going to make worse if you overwork it. So that's everything. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Austin, Texas, and I'm just going to keep the ice and the heat alternating. I'm going to keep my spirits up, and um, 
uh, go fill my prescription for the muscle relaxant later today when it's available and then tonight try to see if I can get my first good night's sleep in a while. As always, thank you for watching my videos at veranda-austin.com. Thank you for visiting my website at verandaaustin.com. That's V-E-R-A-N-D-A-H, austin.com. And the YouTube channel, veranda hyphen or veranda-austin.com. Um, thank you again for caring about me, for watching my videos, and for... Um, being a part of uh, my effort to expose the veranda at Grandview Hills and Basham Properties and to uh, publicize my experience uh, with those two organizations to prevent, hopefully, anybody else from ever going through what I've gone through. Um, now that they know that it's possible that a person that they do this to can um, go public in a big way and um, stick with it like I'm doing, uh, hopefully they will think twice. Um, barring that, hopefully people who are considering moving into a Basham Properties holding or considering uh, renting an apartment at the Verandy at Grandview Hills can learn from my experience and make an informed decision about whether or not they want to be under the control of a landlord who uh, comports themselves the way uh, my landlords comported themselves with me. So, yay for heat, yay for ice, yay for Tylenol, and have a wonderful, beautiful, sunny Austin day. That's it. Over and out.